Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today's video, we're talking about locations around town. So this is a, this is a vocabulary video primarily. Certain just general places around town. La escuela, la oficina, la iglesia, la mesquita. Remember the QUI key, key, la mesquita, el centro. Okay, so think about it. downtown is the center, the center of the community, right? So sometimes there's like a business district, or whatever, but if you just say el centro, that's the same thing as saying downtown. Okay, el edificio. La calle, remember, double L is a Y, it's the Y, calle, la calle, el barrio, la casa, la mansión. Okay, so if we're talking about maybe just errands or now we're entertainment, right, different types of places around town, el banco, la farmacia, la oficina de correos, correos is like mail, right? El correo. So, la oficina de correos is the post office. El palacio municipal. 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 El palacio municipal. El supermercado. El supermercado. So, we say grocery store in English, but really it's the same thing as saying supermarket, and you can think supermercado, supermarket, cognates. Okay, so think about supermarket in English. Versus grocery store. Same thing. La tienda. So here we have tienda de ropa, a clothing store. Tienda de equipaje, the equipment store. Tienda de. So we can be specific with tienda de blank. Or just if you just want to say, I got to go to the store. La tienda. All right. El centro comercial is a mall. El cine. El museo. El parque. El restaurante, el teatro, el jardín. Okay, so el teatro, think about theater as in, look, T-R-E. You go to the theater to see plays. You go to the, uh, el cine, the movie theater, T-E-R, to see movies. All right, so teatro versus cine. Just be very careful. There's two words in Spanish. All right. So if we're talking about these places around town, well, in general, your context is going to be, I need to go to, I want to go, I'm going to. So we're going to use the verb ir, right? Conjugating ir, voy, vas, va, vamos, van. Voy, vas, va, vamos, van. I go, you go, he or she goes, right? We get that. Remember, the conjugation already communicates the subject pronoun. So vamos is the same thing as saying nosotros vamos. Say. With ir, there are phrases or ir constructions, right? So ir, ir, yeah, structures. Ir de compras, to go shopping. Ir de camping, ir de vacaciones, ir de pesca, right? Or ir a, yo ir al cine. I'm going to the theater. Uh, you know, yo voy al cine. So, if we're talking about to go shopping, camping, vacation, to go fishing, a lot of these INGs, right, this three, um, it's interesting, we just ir de. It's not a literal translation, it's a meaning translation, um, but here's the phrase, here's the structure, okay? Also, remember that ir is going to be conjugated. Yo voy al parque después de la escuela. I go to the park after school. Ella va al cine los viernes. She goes to the theater, the movie theater, on Fridays. Right? Nosotros vamos al museo este sábado. We're going to the, to the museum this, this Saturday. All right. So, some examples. Nosotros vamos al cine ir a plus destination. Vamos al cine los viernes. We go to the theater on Fridays. The movie theater. No me gusta ir al centro. Hay mucho tráfico. I don't like to go downtown. There's a lot of traffic. La calle en nuestro barrio es muy viejo. The street in our neighborhood is really old. Wow, man, there's cracks and bumps and potholes. <laughs> Mi mamá va al supermercado dos veces a la semana. 
My mom goes to the grocery store two times a week. And remember, a la semana is, you know, times per week when we're talking about frequency. A la semana or al mes, it's like, that's going to be per. Okay, two times a week, two times per week. Okay. So if we're talking, again, locations around town, and maybe we need to discuss relating where is the bank compared to McDonald's? Where is the grocery store compared to the movie theater? The school, the park, whatever. So, donde esta? We're talking about location, so we're always going to use estar to describe location. Okay, but is it allí? It's there, or is it aquí? Here? Detrás de? It's behind, or in? Maybe like a, you know the. The store is in the mall. The store is in the shopping center, right? In. It could be in or on. It's on top of. Al lado de. It's next to, right? Bed, bath, and beyond está al lado de uh, Ulta Beauty. That's a common <laughs> shopping center thing. Encima de. So it's on top of. Maybe there's a multi, multi you know, maybe you're in a, in a city with, with, Taller building, right? Oh, yeah, the doctor's office is on top of Jason's Deli. <laughs> Debajo de, it's underneath. Delante de versus enfrente de. So both of these mean in front of, okay? But delante de, think about two people in a line. You're in front of the other, okay? And you're facing the same direction. So maybe in a shopping center, there's two buildings and they're both facing the street, but, you know, Labyrinth of parking lots, it's de la, oh, it's in front of. In frente de, think of opposite or in front of, like across the street. McDonald's está en frente del banco, it's in front of the bank. McDonald's is in front of the bank, or, uh, you know, the, the business is opposite, it's they're facing each other. In frente de means you so think about facing. Last, last few examples. Los museos están. Al lado del parque en el centro. The museums are next to the park downtown. El restaurante está detrás, detrás del banco. The restaurant is behind the bank. La tienda está debajo del hotel. The store is under the hotel, right? So like in a big city, hotels are on top, and then there's stores or businesses underneath. La oficina del doctor está enfrente del hospital. The doctor's office is in front of the hospital. All right, okay, or check this out. The doctor's office is across from the hospital. Está en frente de, uh, en frente del, del hospital. So they're facing each other. All right, thanks for tuning in. Please let me know what you need. Let me know what questions you have, and we'll get things here.